Hey everyone, welcome back to Art of Way. Today we are going to create this magical 3D animator hologram effect in Blender. It's quite easy to create and it looks super interesting, right? So let's get started. Before we start, if you are wondering why your Blender viewport and settings look different from mine, you can grab my default setup for free on my Gumroad page. Just download the file and follow along. Now let's jump right into the viewport. First, import your desired 3D model. Now we are going to set up the scene. Enable the render viewport. Go to the world properties and set the strength to 0. Then go to the render properties, click on film and uncheck the transparent. Now move to the shading editor panel, remove the original shader, then click on new to add a new material. If you want, rename it as 3D animated hologram. Now delete the principal BHD node. Also if you notice, you will see my shortcut keys right here. Now press shift A, search for mix shader, add it and connect the shader to the surface. Next add a emission shader and connect it to the mix shader. Then search for transparent BHD node and connect it to the auto shader input. Set the emission strength to 5. Now drag the factor and search for color ramp. Adjust the black color slider like this. Add a layer width node, connect the fractional output to the factor of the color ramp. Also set the emission color as you like. Next add a math node and drag it between the color ramp and mix shader node. Now duplicate the color ramp by pressing shift D and drag it here. Change the interpolation from linear to B spline. Adjust the color sliders and click the plus icon to add new slider. Set the new slider to black and tweak the sliders like this. Now connect the facing output of the layer weight to the factor. Set the blend to 0.24 and connect the color ramps output to the value of math node. Duplicate the mix shader and position it like this. Also, duplicate the transparent BHD tape node and connect it like this. Now press shift A, add a geometry node and connect the back facing output to the factor. Add a Voronoi texture node, then texture coordinate node. Connect the camera output to the vector input of the Voronoi texture. Change the F1 to smooth F1 and Euclid into Manhattan. Adjust the scale value and arrange the nodes like this. Duplicate the math node and drag it here. Duplicate the linear color ramp, place it like this. Adjust the color slider similarly. Now add a noise texture node, change it from 3D to 4D and connect the camera from texture coordinate node to the vector input. Duplicate the B spline color ramp, place it here and connect the factor to the color ramp's factor. Play with the scale value of the noise texture. Also set the randomness of the Voronoi texture to 0.24. Then adjust the color sliders to get the dotted effect. Now adjust the color sliders connected to the noise texture for better visibility. Duplicate the math node, set it to multiply and connect the color to value. Then connect the output to the next value input and continue the chain like this. To preview, you connect the mix shader to the material output node. Now add a wave texture node, connect the camera to the vector of wave texture. Change the x axis to y. Duplicate a color ramp, place it after the wave texture and adjust the slider to get the line effect. Duplicate the multiply math node, connect the wave texture output to it and tweak the scale value. Now back to the emission shader, duplicate the multiply node and connect its value to strength. Set the first input to 1 and second to 26. Now our 3D hologram shader is ready. Let's animate. Go back to the noise texture and in the W field, type hashtag frame divided by 5 multiply by minus 1 and press enter. Then back to the viewport, expand the timeline, then hit play to preview. Now move back to the shading editor panel, go to the wave texture, in face offset, type hashtag frame, then enter. Then type frame divided by 0.1 and press enter again. Hit the spacebar to see the animated effect. You can also change the color at this point to experiment. Choose what looks best to you. Now find the math node we added earlier. Hover over it and press I to insert a keyframe. Go to the animation panel, switch this to graph editor, select the keyframe and click normalize. Then go to the modifiers, add a built-in function modifier and a noise modifier. Set the blend type to add and play with the value until you are happy. If the shader looks off compared to the final render, go back to the shading editor panel and select this color ramp, switch this color sliders and it will fix the issue. Also tweak the colors if needed. Back in the animation panel, these are my final modifier values. Feel free to copy them or play around to find your own style. Hit play to preview the full animation. Now head back to the shading panel, this is our final node setup. To add a glow in the final render, go to the compositor tab and drag in a glare node, place it just before the composite tab. Now let's set up the final render scene. We will add a levitating animation. Select your model, go to the object data properties and make sure the origin point is at the bottom center of the object. Click the dot next to the G location to insert a keyframe. Then go to the animation panel, select G location and add a built-in function modifier. Hit play to see the animation and adjust the value to your liking. These are the values that works for machine. Back in the viewport, press shift A and add a camera. Frame your object properly, then go to the camera properties and adjust the focal length if needed. And now your scene is ready. Now let's do one thing. We can organize the node setup for better control. Back in the shading panel, select all the nodes, accept the output node and press Ctrl J to group them. Inside the node group, we have an input node. Exclude the value we want to control from outside. 
connect input for color change, blend value, ordinary scale, noise scale, wave scale, and also you can see I forgot to mention I have added U saturation node for better color control. Now also connect the U value. Now select the group input node, press N, go to the group tab, and rename each input to reflect its purpose. Press tab to exit the group. Rename the group something like 3D animator hologram and paste the node into the material slot. Now we have made a clean, user-friendly setup where you can change the color, adjust the U value to get better control on color, change the edge brightness, tweak the dot size from Voronoi texture, control the random area visibility from noise texture, and update the lines from wave texture. And you're done. Your final 3D animated hologram effect is ready to render. Now I have duplicated my 3D model and arranged it like this. I have also duplicated the shader and adjusted the hue value for color variation. Then added a cube filled with particles using a geometry node setup. I have already made a video on it which you can check out in the top right corner of this video. I have also added some variation to levitating animation by tweaking the modifier values like this. And that's it, this is the final version of our scene. The magical 3D animated hologram is ready to render. If you follow along the process, share your results on Instagram and don't forget to tag me. Also, this complete Blender file is available on my Gumroad page. You guys can get it from there. Thanks for watching the video till the end. Follow Art of V for more.